we begin with breaking news. Armed, dangerous, and on the run tonight. We have been on the air for the past few hours to help keep you and your family safe as police search for a man they believe shot several people at a warehouse. And we have live team coverage for you tonight. We have eight reporters this evening covering all angles of this story. For hours, they have been getting the latest information for you. Now, here is the man police say carried out the attack. His name and his picture, Wade Melton. APD tells us he was an employee at the building where the shooting happened. And uh, we know a few other things about him. Again, an employee at the building, 30 years old, believed he walked in, was at work 615 tonight and shot three people. They're all listed in critical condition. We have been trying to learn quite a bit from his social media pages. We didn't learn a lot from his Facebook page. A lot of really unnerving comments on there. But as Nancy Lofton told us a short time ago, his Twitter page has got some very disturbing things we could not even repeat on the air, but so we've been trying to learn some more information about him there. That's pretty much all we've tried to ascertain from his social media pages. Now, this shooting happened earlier tonight at about 6.15 on Broadway near Bethel. That's almost four hours ago, which as you can see is not far from the Sunport, just west of the runways. Let's go now to Justin Matthews. He joins us live with everything he knows right now. Justin. Yeah, that's right. A terrifying scene as we've been talking about for so many hours now. The Albuquerque Police Department says 20 people were inside the Ben E. Keith's Food Distribution Center here on Broadway. At least three people taken to the hospital, one of them in critical condition tonight. Red and blue police lights pack Broadway Boulevard near Woodward Road. The Albuquerque Police Department says an employee is responsible for the shooting inside the Ben E. Keith's Food Distribution Center. His name is Wade. Anthony Melton, one of 88, and he is not in custody. This is what APD says the suspect looks like. APD officer Simon Drobik says the warehouse is a 24 hour operation, so there were employees on the job when the shooting happened. I spoke with some people off camera who told me their loved ones inside were able to text them and let them know they were OK. One woman I spoke with says her boyfriend had just gotten to work and was able to run and hide immediately after hearing gunshots. Officer Drobik says the distribution center is a very large warehouse. We are now continuing to search that building because it's such a huge warehouse. Our tactical teams are still searching it. A SWAT team is on the scene trying to arrest him. And a SWAT team um, or a police say Wade Melton is armed and dangerous and the investigators are going to be out here for uh, several hours even into it tomorrow morning. Live in Albuquerque tonight, Justin Matthews, KOAT, Action 7 News. All right, we're also listening in to how this very scary situation unfolded. Some very disturbing stuff. Action 7 News reporter Shelley Leggett listened into police radio recordings. When they got the call, a shooting was underway. Well, we have listened to nearly two hours of dispatch tapes from the first point when officers realized it was an active shooter situation to the very second they knew the suspect's name. Albuquerque police say the call came in around 615. APD's advisors clearly answer, but we don't know if the shooter is still on scene. The scene is even in front. Just information, we don't know if the shooter's still on scene. An active shooter at Ben E. Keith Foods, New Mexico. Uh, units also staging. Uh, right now, there may be two patients. Um, they're still trying to figure it out. You're listening to police radio recordings as the situation was unfolding. Pretty sure we got two inside. That's unknown. Uh, we cleared from the south to the north, about 100 yards. Well, we will hold what we have now, and we got the two victims out. Up to the very minute, they figured out who the shooter was. Your offender is a Nick guy by the name Wade Milton. He is a current employee. He will be your shooter. APD says Melton is still on the run, and they are telling everyone in the area to shelter in place until he is brought in. Shelly Leggett, KOAT Action 7 News. All right, Shelly, thank you. And our Chris Guadaro has been live for us all evening at UNMH, where the three victims who were shot were taken. Last we heard, Chris, they're in critical condition. Yeah, guys, as we speak, doctors are working to save the lives of those three victims in this shooting. Now, UNMH is saying now that they will not update the status of those victims anymore tonight after they entered this hospital in critical condition. Now, after checking with Presbyterian Hospital, it appears that those the total number of injured people in that shooting is three. Again, entering this with 
critical condition, life-threatening injuries. A little bit about the response. We got here about 20 to 25 minutes after hearing about this shooting, and we haven't seen ambulances unloading patients in these emergency room bays since. That means that the response was likely very good for this situation. As soon as we learn anything more about these victims or the response, we will let you know. Live in Albuquerque, Chris Gordaro, KOAT Action 7 News. And tonight we're hearing from other employees who worked with the suspect. Action 7 News reporter Marissa Armas tells us the co-workers are shocked. Well, the employees I spoke with tonight say Wade Melton was a nice and quiet guy. They say they are surprised that he is allegedly responsible for doing this. Earlier, I spoke to Dominic Ortega, who works inside the Ben E. Keith building. He told me he got off at 2 this afternoon, and the shooting happened around 6. Around that time is when his manager called him to let him know of the active shooter situation. Ortega says the two worked together since 2012, and the last time they spoke was just two days ago. A former employee who did not want to be named told me he surprised Melton is allegedly capable, capable of doing this. At work, he was just a quiet dude. You know, he was always uh, more than willing to help you out. But other than that, it was, he kind of kept to himself and just did his job. Right now, employees say managers did let them know of the situation pretty promptly, and many have been told that they likely won't go to work tomorrow. Marissa Armas, KOAT Action 7 News. And tonight, police say they know what the suspect may be driving. Action 7 News reporter Brandon Evans is live and tells us about the truck the suspect could be driving. Brandon. And we're at Broadway in West Mecco, just about a block from where this shooting happened tonight. And we do have some information for you about that suspected shooter, Wade Anthony Melton, that police are still looking for. We know the make and model and the license plate of the vehicle they believe he could be driving. First, let's take a look at the make and model. 1999 black Mazda B300 Club Cab. That is a black pickup truck. Also, the license plate is a New Mexico license plate 917 RSM. Once again, a black Mazda 1999 B300 Club Cab license plate New Mexico 917 RSM. Anyone who sees Wade Anthony Melton, do not approach him. You are to call 911 immediately. Reporting here on Broadway in West Mecca, which is still closed down. Brandon Evans, KOT Action 7 News. Well, the shooting happened, as we've been telling you, just after 6, and we've been talking a lot about during our live coverage for three-plus hours. We didn't know how many shifts they had, but we were just told right. that this happened when the night shift was about to begin. All right, so we can assume perhaps he was going in to start his day. Action 7 News reporter Christine Pay is live for us and walks us through the timeline of what's happened so far. Right, so here's a quick rundown of how everything unfolded. If you're just joining us right now at about 615, as we've been telling you, Albuquerque police were called to reports of that active shooter with multiple injuries. Then at 754, UNM Hospital told us they have three victims from the scene. All are listed in critical condition. Now, just after 830 then, APD gave us an update saying the suspect is 30 year old Wade Melton. We're told he currently worked at that plant. Then at nine o'clock, APD says they have cleared the Ben E. Keith warehouse building and secured it. They did not find any other victims. Now, something to point out right now, at least a dozen, perhaps 30 or so of those police vehicles have slowly been leaving this area. We are on Broadway just north of Gibson. We'll be sure to give you those updates any updates as they come in. Live in Albuquerque, I'm Christine Pay, KOAT Action 7 News. Well, we now know 20 people were inside the warehouse when the shooting started. Action 7 News reporter Kay Dimash has been hearing what they had to say. Stand by. Yeah, I just got an update from the employee I talked to earlier. They prefer that I not say their name. They have made it home, but are very shaken up over the shooting tonight. This employee tells me they were inside when Wade Melton opened fire. They say one of the three people shot tonight was a supervisor. They aren't sure if Melton and the supervisor had any issues in the past, and they didn't even know that Melton had been fired from the company Ben E. Keith. In Albuquerque, Katie Munch, KYT Action 7 News. Okay, we're joined now on set by our basically law enforcement expert, Nick Backus, Target 7 reporter, Nancy Laughlin. And Nancy, I understand you've been talking to your sources, which you have been doing all night long. Yeah. And what have you learned in the last few minutes? Well, we're seeing that that helicopter, we're seeing all the law enforcement focused in that area, that we know that he lives in that area, mm -hmm. so chances are he is 
in that vicinity of the warehouse where the shooting took place. And, and Nick can always give us some behind the scenes on this. You know, this has been going on for since 615 tonight, but they've gotten a lot of key pieces to this puzzle. You're feeling like earlier they're, they're probably closing in on him. I sense that they are closing in, that uh, uh, they are focusing on where they believe the individual is. Okay. Apparently, he has remained in the area. That's, that's mm -hmm. quite clear. There's been no reports of anywhere south or north that th he is in the area. And I would anticipate that uh, hopefully uh, uh, we can resolve here um, fairly quickly. Tonight, We've talked yeah. a lot about the safety and the, and the delay in which APD and BCSO, et cetera, went into that facility and finally cleared it to Benny Key's food facility, the warehouse there. We also talked about, again, like Nancy mentioned, he lives nearby. The, I'm sure the assets that are over there now may be going already in, going inside, waiting for a warrant, or just as you said, exigent circumstances will allow them to go in right away. Yes, I would imagine the the uh, process of securing a warrant, should it be needed, uh, I, I imagine it's already done by mm -hmm. now. They are just focusing in on the house, trying to get uh, some sort of response. If a dynamic entry needs to be done, I'm sure they uh, they will do, they will do that, but again, it is focused to a particular location, a particular individual. The good news is that there are not multiple individuals running around in various places. Right. It is focused in that area. The individual is still dangerous. The individual is still out there. Again, if, if he is still with us. Mm -hmm. All right, Nick, thank And you his so much. picture is all over social media right. mm -hmm. and all over the news. I mean, we've been airing it repeatedly, so he doesn't have a whole lot of options as he's looking to to leave. That's right. And there was a look at the suspect right there. We're going to put that up on your screen again. This is 30-year-old Wade Anthony Melton. He is an employee of one of the three businesses inside that warehouse. <coughs> We're not sure exactly which one, but we do know that he is the suspect, the individual they are looking for. As Nancy mentioned a short time ago, they do believe he is very nearby and hopefully they are honing in on where he is and will quickly be able to take him into custody. And so much concern throughout our community after seeing all this tonight, especially given the three victims who were shot. And Attorney General Hector Balderas is responding tonight, saying, I offer my prayers and support to the victims and families involved in this horrifying tragedy. Please remain vigilant as the offender is believed to be armed and dangerous. If you see the offender, do not approach him. Instead, please contact 911 immediately. We're continuing to follow this breaking news. Our coverage continues right after this break.